system and people surround themselves with people who they can take care of. Right? Yeah. And so because you're taking you're taking care of all these people, you believe that then should my security ever be in question, or actually it's more like when my security, my safety is in question, that's all dealt with by money. But when my security is in question, okay. then they'll come and help me because I've got this lovely entourage of people. But they never do. Why? Because they're receivers. They're not givers. So relationship-driven people set themselves up to always be at risk of their own security. So you surround yourself with people who will receive everything you give, and then, you know, should the shit hit the fan, as you say, they're gone. Because they're only there to receive from you, which makes you feel so good. This is the most challenging to be a business owner. And, you know, you want to give to your customers, you want to give them a deal, you want to, because you're buying their loyalty and their friendship. And so accomplishments-driven people, they, can't praise their workers easily, their, their support easily, because they, they don't have enough. You don't praise yourself, you don't believe you deserve praise, so you're not full in your reservoir of praise, so how can you give it out freely? You do, but they even feel that you're not giving it freely. Even though you want to, you believe they deserve it, but you don't have much to give, so you're really tight with giving out praise. Control-driven people, you don't actually love anybody. That's true. In fact, what you do is you manipulate people to make it look to you like they love you. But you don't believe that they love you. They're only doing what you're manipulating them to do. And you don't believe they love you because you're not lovable. So we all have one of these. We all operate from one of these the vast majority of the time. And this all comes from our programming, and it all comes from something that happened between the ages of five and seven. So once we identify this, it doesn't change overnight, but then we're aware of it, and we look at it. And once we identify it, it's not like it's, you know, you turn the light on and shine the floodlight, and it's all completely different. Not quite like that. It becomes completely different with experiences of going, oh, here's another example of how I'm making decisions based on the incident that happened between the ages of five and seven. So our values today actually are unhealthy for us because they keep us trapped, but they are who we are. So I want you to identify who you are with these values so that we can help you become who you want to be.